In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a really quick and effective dodge and burn effect using Affinity Photo. This effect can be used as it is, or as a guide, or as a starting point for your dodge and burn work. If you find this video useful, then please consider giving it a thumbs up or even subscribing. Okay, here we go. Let's perform the dodge and burn trick on this pretty girl's face. The first thing I'm going to do is just a very rough masking off of the skin. I'm not going to do a very accurate mask for this demonstration. It really doesn't need it and I don't mind if the effect sort of seeps into the background a tad. Of course, if you need to, you can do your own masking on your own images and use any method you like. This isn't really a masking video, it's uh, really just to show you the uh, dodge and burn trick. So, to mask this off, I'll grab my pen tool and just do a very rough outline around the skin area. The area that I want to be affected by the dodge and burn effect. For this demonstration, this doesn't need to be very accurate as long as I get most of the skin a sort of a logical mask, nice and rough, and there we go. That'll do. Next, hit selection to turn it into a selection, and then go to select and feather. Here we go and I would like quite a large radius. I think about that will do. Hit apply. Then I'll press Ctrl and C and Ctrl and V to copy that selection to a new layer. So now I've isolated the face area from the main image. And let's take a look. That's fine. It's fading nicely into the backdrop. I think that'll work really well for this image. And now reselect the background layer and select just this little gap in the hair here. I, again, I don't need to be very accurate. That's done. Hit selection and then again select and feather and up the radius until I think it's about right. OK. Then Control C and Control V to put the selection on its own layer. So there we have two layers with our selections. To turn this into a single layer, I'll right click on the top selection layer and choose Merge Down. So now I have the face and the gap in the hair merged into one single layer. OK, let's turn the selection off and take a look. That's very good, that'll do fine. Next, right click on the selection layer and choose Group. So the adjustments we add will only affect this selection layer. Name the group for tidiness, I'll call it Dodge and Burn. Right, that's our masking done and our group created, so the next thing to do is to create some nice holes for the eyeballs. We really don't want the Dodge and Burn effect to happen in the eyes. Turn the background off so we can see, open up the group and select the face layer. OK, zoom in, select the eraser tool and bracket keys to make it smaller and then just wipe out the eyeball all around the outside and then fill in the center like so. I think that's fine. Space and drag to pan and then just wipe out the other eyeball like so, it only takes a couple of seconds, really, really quick. Great, that's good enough for our purposes. Let's just turn our background back on, and now we're ready for the next stage, which is the actual dodge and burn effect. I'll just grab my hand tool so that I don't accidentally erase parts of the image. And here we go. The first thing to do is to create our burn layer. So go down to adjustments, Brightness and Contrast, and let's just name our layer Burn. And then we bring the brightness down until we're at the position where we think the burn is as dark as it needs to be. OK, I don't want the burn to be any darker than that, so that will do. Then select Blend Ranges. Grab this right-hand point and bring it down to the bottom left. 
and then bring this point back over to the right and you will see that the face is getting darker with the darker areas being affected more than the lighter areas. So I bring this to the right until it just starts to affect the light areas. So as I bring it across and I notice the cheek affected, I know we're done. Now I want to just block in a little bit more of the dark area, so all I have to do is bring this left hand point across just to the point where I think it's correct. About there looks fine. So close these, that's the burn layer. Next to create our dodge layer, so adjustments and brightness and contrast. And then just up the brightness until we're at a point where we're about as bright as we'd like it to be. Which on this cheek I think is about where we're at. Okay, open up the blend ranges and this time grab the left hand point and drag it all the way to the bottom right. And I'm going to bring this to the left until I have just a little light left on the dark side cheek. Not too bright, I would just like to have a little light on this cheek. A little tweak and there we go, that's nice. The bright parts are bright and the cheek is just being affected. Now let's see if I need to block in the very bright areas, just bring this point across. No, maybe just a tad, that'll do. And that is our a dodge layer. So close that down, close that down, and then just name our layer dodge. And there we have our basic dodge and burn effect. So now we have our dodge and burn effect, I'd like to just add a master control to control the brightness overall. With our dodge layer selected, just create another brightness and contrast adjustment. There we go, brightness and contrast. I don't need to rename it as that's what it's for. And now I'm going to bring down the overall brightness on the dodge and burn like so. And now I'm looking at this, I think the burn layer may be just a tad too dark. So just double click on the burn layer and then lighten it up just a tad, like so, that'll do. And the dodge layer is still a bit too bright, so double click and bring down the brightness. That's fine, lovely. Okay, let's take a look at our a dodge and burn effect. All we have to do is just turn the group off here to reveal before. So, before and nice and flat. And then after dodge and burn, beautiful. And of course we have complete control over every aspect of this. If we want to reduce the effect, all we have to do is select the group and bring down the opacity like so. Set it to whatever we like. Okay, that's fine. We can also set the overall brightness of the effect or, or the impact of the dodge or the impact of the burn separately. And that is how we create a quick and easy dodge and burn trick with Affinity Photo. Let's just take one last look at our work. Here we go. Before and after and before and after. Now, I know this effect looks absolutely superb when used on muscles. Here we go. Background selected, create a brightness and contrast. Bring the brightness right down to the darkest point that we'd like it. Oh, we can go quite dark with these, make it nice and defined. Grab our blend ranges and then right hand point down to the bottom left and then right to the point we'd like it. A small fall off this time so that I can get a nice abrupt chiseled look in these muscles. And then bring our left hand point across to make an even smaller fall off for an even more hard look. A quick check. No, it was fine before and that'll do so get rid of these. We have very chiselled blacks so next just Rename the layer, and um, we'll name it Burn, of course. Okay, time for the dodge layer, so adjustments and brightness and contrast. 
bring the brightness up to the maximum that I would want it. I think that's fine, so select our blend ranges and then bring the left point all the way to the bottom right and then bring the point back until the muscles are nicely lit up and bring the other points across until they're nicely defined. Okay, that's the dodge layer done. Get rid of these and rename the layer a dodge. Of course, we don't need to group it as we're not creating a mask or anything like that. We're doing the whole image. But let's just add a couple of enhancements to make this into a nice grungy scene. On top of our basic dodge and burn, let's first of all reduce the saturation. So HSL and down with the saturation. I think that's about fine. I think we should make this look very grungy. So next thing to add is a filter. We go to filters and high pass filter. Set the blend mode of the filter to linear light. And as we bring up the radius, we should see the skin becoming more defined and having that lovely grungy look. And I think that looks really good. Let's take a look. So select all the layers and then turn them off to view. So here we go, before and then after. We've got lovely, really defined muscles using the dodge and burn trick.